What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a sketch illustration of Glamrock Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle in the center of our page. Now I'm going to use a side grip using the flat edge of our pencil. Let's start from the very top and the middle. Just going to lightly work our way around the left side. Then bring that back in towards the middle. And we'll go all the way around the right side of our circle. Now with our circle in place, we want to start adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center, starting from the very top of our circle. Let's get a line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And I'll extend that up towards the top. Let's add another guideline going across from left to right, starting from the center of our circle. Extend this out and to the right. Now we want to create a gap in between the eyes. So from the center of our circle, we're going to move over towards the left, sketch a line coming down towards the bottom, and we'll extend that up towards the top. Now let's take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now the nose and muzzle is going to sit just below that center line. So we're going to step down, sketch a line going out, and it'll clip off the bottom of our circle. So we're going to step up, going all the way across. Let's add some shape to the outside of the muzzle. Starting from this point, it's going to curve this out towards the left, round this out, and then come back in towards that bottom point. And it'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's round out the bottom of the muzzle, starting back on the left. It's going to bend this down, and then up towards the center. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's place the nose on top of the muzzle. From this point, we're going to step out, curve this up in the middle, and then bend that down towards the right. And then from the ends, we're going to curve this down and in towards a center point. Let's lightly shade in the inside of the nose. From here, we're going to draw the inside edge of the eye socket. Starting from this point, curve this up, round out the top, come down, and then back in towards the side of the muzzle. Let's go over towards the right, going up towards the same height, come around, and then bend that in. Let's add two large circles for the eyeballs along the inside of the eye. Starting back on this point, draw a circle going around, just leaving a small gap along the outside. And we'll draw that same size circle on the right. Let's go out to the side and bump out the cheeks. Starting from the left side of the circle, I'm just going to curve this around and then bend that in towards the side of the muzzle. Now let's layer the lower jaw in underneath. Starting back on this point, curve this down and in with a short curve on both sides. Now I connect the inside with another curve coming down, across the center, and then back up on the right. Let's round out the jaw. Starting back over on the left, we're gonna step out, curve this around, and then bend that in. And then we'll connect the inside with another curve, coming down, across the center, and then back up. Now from here, we're gonna draw that trim going around the eyes. This line put the top of the eye in the center. It's gonna follow that same curve of the eye going up, coming around, and then in towards the muzzle. From the bottom, it's going to curve this out and up towards the cheek. And then from the outside, we're going to step down, just taper this so it gets wider as we come back in towards the side of the muzzle. And now we're going to add the eyebrows along the top. Starting over on the left side, just draw a short line going up and out. Now we're going to follow this curve going up and then just pull that in. Let's lightly shade in the eyebrows. And 
Now from here, we're gonna add a guide for the ears. Starting right in between the brow, draw a straight angle line, going up and out past the side of the head to right about there, and then do the same thing over on the right. Let's flatten off the inside of the ear. So we're gonna leave a gap beside the head, draw a straight angle line going across, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. And then we're gonna connect the top and bottom with a curve, almost like a half oval, going around and then back in. And now we wanna trace the ears along the inside, starting with that bottom edge, and then trace that curve going all the way around. Now let's place the hat on top of the head over on the left side. So we're gonna start from the top, start with a curve going across, and then bend that up on the right side. Let's flatten off the ends with a short line going up, and we'll follow that same curve across the top, from left to right, and going back to the left side, we're just gonna curve this up and then across. Now let's draw the top of the hat. On the left side, we're gonna step in, draw a straight angle line going up and out. From the right side, step in, draw a straight line going up. And we'll close off the top with a curve. Now from here, we're gonna move down and block in the upper body. Let's start with a bow tie. Just underneath the chin, start with a circle. From the top of that circle on either side, draw a straight line going up and out. Move down to the bottom and go down and out. Connect the top and bottom with a curve. So just rounding out the side of the bow tie. Let's go back to the bottom of the jaw, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards left and right. Now we're gonna layer the shoulder pads on top. Starting over on the left, we're gonna step up, start with the curve coming down, and then we'll bend that out. Line this up on the right, coming down and out. Let's go back up to the top, draw a straight line going out towards the left and right side. Now that we've established the basic layout of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. And now that we have a clean drawing, we're gonna go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining the shape. Let's start with the top edge of the nose, starting over on the left. I'm just gonna trace this out, going up towards the middle, and then bring that down on the right side. and come across the center. Now we're gonna lightly add a highlight along the top with a long oval going from left to right. And then we'll darken up the nose, starting off dark along the bottom. Go in behind that highlight. We're gonna gradually fade this out along the top. From the nose, just gonna work our way around the side of the muzzle. And separate the muzzle down the center. Now while we're here, we're just gonna add the teeth along the side, starting with a straight line coming down. Then the outside going out and then up underneath. Now we're going to move back up and just trace the outside of the eye.
and then darken up the inside of the eye socket, coming in towards those circles. I'm going to use the side edge of our pencil and just soften up that shadow around the eyes. And I'm going to add another circle in the center of the eyeball, the outside of the iris. smaller circle in the middle. I'm going to add a small half circle on the top right of the pupils and it will darken up the inside. Now we're also going to darken up the outside of the iris. Going to trace that trim around the eyes, going underneath the eyebrows, and back in towards the side of the muzzle. And I'll move back out and trace out the cheeks. From the top of the cheek, we're going to add a seam going across in towards the side of the eye. And we'll finish off that trim. Let's go back up to the top and trace the top of the eyebrows. darken up the inside. Now from here we're just going to move down and trace out the inside of the jaw. side. We're going to add two large fangs along the bottom on either side. We'll start with that curve, round up the tip, and then taper that back down. We're adding four small teeth along the inside these half circles and a small tooth on either side of the fangs and then we'll layer a few more in behind. And now we're going to go in and darken up the inside of the mouth going around the teeth. Now along the bottom, we're just going to add a shadow, just along the outside edge, starting from the top, 
and just following that same curve coming in. And come down along the bottom. Let's add two lines down the chin, one on the left and one on the right. And we're going to continue working up along the side of the head towards the hat. Moving out, we're going to detail out the ears. Just rounding out the bottom corners and going up along the outside. Let's connect the ears to the head with two lines on the inside and then we'll trace the inside of the ears. I'm gonna move down and add some shape to the bow tie. Rounding up the edges. I'm going to go back and add another trim along the outside of the face. Just lightly tracing this out. So above the eyebrow. And bringing that back in towards the middle. And now we'll go in and start adding a shade to the inside of the body, starting with the ears. I'm going to go up and just finish off the hat, starting with that trim along the top. I'm going to darken up the front edge, adding a little bit of a highlight in the center. So we'll fade this out as we come in, and we'll darken this as we go out towards the right. Add a light shade to that band and add a shadow on the left and right side. Now we're going to darken up the sides of the hat 
Then again, just adding a highlight in the center. Darken up the inside of the ear. Now add a shadow along the inside. I'm also going to add a shadow across the bottom of the ear, so the light's coming from the top of our page across our character. So the shadows will sit along the bottom edge. Darken up that outer trim around the face, starting from the cheeks, and then just working our way up towards the eyebrows. Now we're going to go back and darken up that shadow underneath the muzzle in the center and then just gradually fade that in.
Now the upper part of the head is going to cast a shadow across the jaw. So we're just going to darken up the top and then just fade that down. And we'll add the shadow across the bottom and fading that up. And the head's going to cast a shadow across the neck. So darken up the top area. And then fade that down. Adding a loose shadow underneath the bow tie. And then we'll darken up the top of the shoulders and then fade that down towards a highlight. And we'll go darker along the bottom. Now we're going to go back and just darken up the contrast in our drawing.
Now, as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Glamrock Freddy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.